Hello guys, I wanted to come on here and say hi. <laughs> I did my makeup today. Who am I? I know, right? I wanted to come on and let you know that this video is going to be mostly dinners, a couple hauls because obviously it has to be haul. But I wanted to come on here and say I'm trying to get back into um, mostly just showing my meals and everything i hope you guys enjoy and let me know in the comments if you like these kind of videos more like vloggy styles or if you only want me to show meals let me know and i'll see you guys later the weekly haul i did stock up on a couple of things i also found some really really good stuff um actually this is it goes all the way back here start with the stuff that i picked up ian they had their z bars on super super sale went to target and schnooks um i found these at target i'll show you some other little goodies here in a minute but i got them the iced oatmeal cookie the cinnamon crunch the cookies and cream and then this is new cinnamon roll i think try that one i got him some of his go-go squeeze i picked up some onion soup mix we like to do like onion burgers with this some taco seasoning i picked up some fruit so chinooks had a dollar on their blackberries and raspberries so i picked up two blackberries two raspberries and one strawberries two things of pickles because we've been flying through pickles lately and they're delicious some of my whole wheat mission carb balanced tortillas, this huge thing of hickory smoked summer sausage. Um, all three of us actually like to eat that. And we have crackers and things. I picked up two mild pork sausage, some sliced American cheese, some sliced provolone cheese, some guacamole cups for me. This uh, real good food ricotta, uh marinara sauce this silk unsweet almond milk some cinnamon i needed cinnamon i went ahead and purchased the kettle and fire tomato soup i've been batting back and forth with if i want to purchase this or not i'm just gonna suck it up and do it because it looks delicious and then i saw that they had a chili one these are a little bit higher in carbs but you know what it's all about moderation a little thing of Velveeta cheese because I've been craving, like, uh, just Velveeta cheese. I don't know. I've just been craving it. Some of my keto hot dog buns. Two of the Rayo's pizza sauce. I saw that they had the Catalina Crunch in chocolate peanut butter. Hello. Yum. This was new. This is the Brown Berry Superior Keto Bread. It is a little bit higher in carbs than, say, um, this the Healthy Life bread that I get or the Solo Bread. Actually, it's not that bad compared to the Solo. It's kind of right up there. Two of the hot dog sauce. Like I said, craving some pepperonis, some Parmesan wisps. And then I picked up a thing of my creamy queso that I haven't had in a long time. And then I saw that they had t these two new ones. Um, I don't know if they're new, but I've never saw them before. So I got the spicy queso, blanco, and then the zesty ranch. That is everything. And I'm going to show, I'm going to get this stuff put away and show you the non-food things that I got from Target. And then I also stopped at... <sighs> vitamin shop and did some damage there uh, it's a mess but we're actually really trying to go into town less and less and i figured i would stock up on a couple of things like my milk the sauce stock up on some cheeses some fruits some pickles here and there just kind of get a little stockpile going since we do live 30 minutes from town and then i stocked up on ian's stuff too i get this put away and show you guys everything else over here with Target. Um, I still had a little bit of gift card left, so I found some things. <laughs> I found these shoes. She was literally putting these out. I physically could not say no. Moving on. This is the Orchard Clove candle. It just says, hello fall. It smells pretty good too. And then this one says, 
you are the pumpkin to my pie it smells like pumpkin pie they smell really good i had saw some on instagram the other night that i wanted but these actually smelled so much better the other ones are really pretty but they just don't smell very good and this coffee cup i couldn't physically couldn't i can't decide if i need a hug a large coffee or if i should just take a long nap and the mug was three dollars and each of these candles were three dollars and the shoes were 20 no regrets and then i went to vitamin shop because i've honestly never been to vitamin shop but i've seen that these were an exclusive to there and i was on the way home from target and you guys i cannot believe what i found inside so i did buy two of these strawberry shortcake alani protein bars i saw these cute fun flavors of the ghost um drinks they're energy drinks so i got the bubblelicious strawberry and the sour patch red berry very excited they also had the watermelon bang that i've never saw anywhere and then oh my gosh i'm so excited i have been contemplating on doing a legendary foods order just because i wanted to try the pop tarts because a lot of people say that they're really really good and the macros on them are decent um and they had like six or seven flavors i could not believe it so I picked out the cake style and then I picked or, or cake yeah, cake style birthday cake and the cake style chocolate cake. And I think it's just one pop tart, but could not physically help it. And then she said they actually just started carrying the Choc Zero syrups. So I picked up the maple. I wasn't so interested in the chocolate syrup because I picked up the sugar-free hershey one the other day but i got the maple very excited about that i love chalk syrup stuff <laughs> and then nuts and more um they had quite a few flavors of this i picked up the cookie butter now this i mean this does have some oomph to it you know two tablespoons is 190 calories um 13 grams of fat nine total carbs two fiber eight sugars, two sugar alcohol, 10 protein. So this will definitely be a treat, but it's way better than regular peanut butter, especially the speculus butter. So that is my haul. Um, this was a little expensive, <laughs> but I am so, so excited about it. And I'm really excited about this coffee mug and these shoes too. Like... And they're starting to put all their fall clothes out. But, yeah, so, so excited. I actually just filmed all that and put that away and then I remembered. I had a few things in the trunk. <laughs> so this is the rest of the Target stuff. I found these signs. Like I said, they were, I don't know, they were really stocking a lot of things when I was there. Um... <laughs> So, and there's so, so much more stuff I keep seeing on Instagram. And I'm like, oh my God, I need it. I need it. I need it. Um, this is uh, two, two, two of the two-sided signs. This first one says, it's a little hard. I love fall most of all. And then the back is this little pumpkins. And they had matching pillow. But I was like, oh, I don't need really throw pillows. There's actually some throw pillows that I'm eyeing on Amazon if I can just get Seth too get some more pillows he hates pillows he hates throw pillows he hates holiday throw pillows this one says autumn leaves and pumpkins please and then the back of this also says i love fall most of all um i do think i'm going to have this one out and i think i'm going to have this one because i also have this little guy here it stands um the front says every year i fall for pumpkins bonfire s'mores Autumn leaves, apples, and you. And the back says, welcome to our home. It's really cute. So here's how here's how actually sad I am. I love this. I love fall most of all. But I love this too. And I almost bought two of these just to have one on each side. But um, I had some, 
some willpower. And then I kept eyeing this. I've been eyeing it and eyeing it and eyeing it. And I'm like, you know what? I have a gift card. I'm just going to use it. This is the Hearth and Hand tiered tray. And it was $32.99. I just got it. I have small tiered trays. I don't have a big tiered tray. So that is everything I got while I was in town today. Here is some of the meats that I am going to set out and get going for this week. I am back to planning. Seth's um, days, one of his days off, we're going to go ahead and, and do this roasted garlic and herb pork loin. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out of the deep freeze. I am going to try to eat these um, Adele's portobello and Swiss cheese chicken sausages. That sounded really good. I have another pack of these in the deep freeze. I think they are Greer cheese and like something else. They something really good and i'm gonna go ahead and cook up the taco meat i would come on here and show you guys what's for dinner i am totally back on my keto game today it's like a full keto reset and then i'm actually going to start a challenge where i give up soda for a period of time or maybe all together who knows but i have my diet coke i was working on for lunch i use mayonnaise mustard and a little bit of pickle juice for my doubled eggs they're a little bit runny, but that's okay. I still have some of that to scrape out. And this is the Egg Life Thins, just the original, with some mayo, some lettuce, some cheddar, like cheddar Colby Jack shredded cheese mix, and then the Tyson blackened chicken tenders. This is going to be my dinner. I am up to my calories for the day, and I'm up to my carbs for the day and i am pretty satisfied so i think this is gonna be it for this monday i am starting dinner and i am going to have some of the adele's portobello and swiss cheese chicken sausage i am just going to well i have cut it up and i'm just gonna have this leftover broccoli that we had um, from the other night and then I'm gonna have this cookies and cream milk bar this is my last cookies and cream one it's not my absolute favorite one out of them so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and make it go away <laughs> but I'm going to saute this this pan right now this is my dinner tonight i have some raspberries and blackberries as well just to kind of get some sweetness in i've got about let's say almost three ounces of broccoli here and then two of the chicken sausages and then the built bar i'm gonna have for dessert and then i'm gonna call it a day All right, I decided to do tacos this week on Wednesday, simply just because the hamburger wasn't completely thawed out yesterday. I have some taco sauce, some of this ranch sauce, which is amazing, some sour cream, and then I have the egg life thins with some lettuce, and this is going to be taco night, and it was very, very delicious have a little bit of a grocery haul i had to run into town and go um get some things done in town and i stopped by walmart and i found some really exciting things so i will start over here i'm trying to um switch over to a lot of turkey products they actually had a few things um that i that they didn't have that I was looking for. Turkey patties was one of them, but I got the jerky crumbles, so those will be just fine. I got the um, boars in garlic and herb cheese because I'm gonna make um, some pasta with that soon with the zoodles. My avocado ranch Marzetti simply dressed dressing. This is my absolute favorite. And if you look, it has less than one total sugar and only one carb per two tablespoons. So that's really good. 
I saw um, one of the girls that I follow on Instagram talk about these um, unbreaded buffalo chicken breast strips. They only had two bags left, so I picked them up. I really love the blackened tenders as well, but I still have a bag of that. I wanted to try these because I do love buffalo chicken a whole lot. Um, the pumpkin stuff is rolling out. I skipped on the pumpkin flips just because they are a lot of carbs. This is um, eight total carbs, seven sugars. Protein is 12. And it's high, but I love this pumpkin pie yogurt so i will use this and this is good till october 8th both of these so i will use these sparingly on days where i'm not eating pretty much any carbs this will be my carb for the day and then i've been looking for these these are the unicorn squirrel white chocolate chips by lily's I'm so so excited so i got two bags of those i found some new real good food things that i have never saw before and i am really really excited these are the uh, beef enchiladas with red sauce cheddar and monterey jack cheese i picked up two of those i eat these real good foods things a lot um because they're they're really good <laughs> they're really low carb and really good and then i picked up two of the spinach and ricotta italian style entrees never saw that before and then i was really excited about the artichoke and cheese stuffed chicken nuggets and for for the whole box it's 570 calories nine carbs three fiber and 66 protein i don't know if i would eat a whole box oh yeah there's three servings three nuggets i don't know actually how, how big those are but that is everything that I just got from Walmart. I'm pretty excited. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. And I was putting stuff away and I actually forgot I had these. They were in with the bag about a couple sweatshirts that you'll see in a future fall clothing haul. But these are the Kinder Seasoning Blends. I got the um, fajita with citrus and garlic. And then I got the taco with lime and ancho chili. And the really awesome thing about these are there are no carbs in them and i have actually i've never really found taco seasoning without carbs so i almost picked up like several of each but i want to try them first to make sure that i like them but yeah i also got that so that's the thing i love the kinder the kinder's seasonings they're like amazing so i have high hopes for these for dinner tonight, I did um, barbecue chicken tacos with a little bit of the uh, G. Hughes barbecue sauce, some of the avocado ranch, and I have some cheese on here. These are the low-carb um, tortillas by Mission, and some blackberries. And then I wanted to up my calories a little bit because it was not a lot today, and I said, oh yeah, one point one nut carb smart cakes had these for dessert tonight and all in all that chicken was delicious it's raining sideways are you happy yeah. merry christmas early christmas present but it's <laughs> holy cow <laughs> Oh my oh. god! You're getting some spray in here. I know. Should we shut it a little? It's getting all over your new toolbox. No, it's okay. Look at the corn. Oh my gosh. That is some crazy wind. I don't think they're going to be playing outside at kindergarten today. No. <laughs> yeah, I came through and closed these ones. This one was open, but I closed most of them because... Yeah. It looks like we're fine. Hey, at least it'll wash all the dirt off the outside of this. Look at that corn, no. Oh my god. 
back to the garage. I had to come inside because my gosh, you guys, it is storming. But I wanted to show you. We still don't have any furniture. Oh, I wanted to show you what came in the mail yesterday. This is the bike that I ordered off of Amazon. This is what it is here. Seth is going to actually set it up for me tonight and I'm going to get going. It is a foldable bike. And I'll show you guys later what it looks like. It's, I'm so excited. I just had to go pick up my ferns. They were in the rocks, but I don't have anywhere to hang them yet. Lightning, but new homeowner problems. Um, we have a pond out of our front door. So that's exciting. Well, I just looked out the kitchen window and saw all of that corn. Like you could tell it just got flattened and then this huge branch here but you can actually see the wind turbine now which you couldn't see them before but yeah oh my goodness but yeah i came out here just to kind of survey and see the limbs but you can definitely see like it's really tall our ceiling is leaking oh that's great that is great <sighs> corn is knocked down Branch there, branches there, and a huge one right there. I gotta go tell Seth about this leak. We had quite the storm. I was about to actually walk out to the fence and like try to get a close up of all the corn that's flattened. It is crazy. But we went into town, me and Seth, we had a date day, a date morning. We went to breakfast, brunch, it was really, really good. We went to Target. And we went to Lowe's. He got his toolbox. His big craftsman thing. I'll show you in a little bit. He's out there putting in all his tools and everything. But I want to show you what I did get at Target and um, Lowe's for the house. Some pretty, pretty fun things. Um, and I try to get my bike set up sometime today. But let me show you what I got at the store. So we didn't get any groceries because we didn't need anything. But... They had more fun things in the dollar spot, and Seth's like, go ahead and get it. Um, I love dish towels. I don't know. <laughs> it's a, a problem now, but they have this one. I love fall most of all. I love, like, the burnt orange and the oranges and the pinks. So that is what this little one looks like here. And this one says, hello, pumpkin, with some cute little pumpkins and then this is the only tiered tray little set that they had so i went ahead and picked it up for my new tiered tray that i'm gonna do i still don't know where i'm gonna put it but this one is like kind of the um apple themed one they have a couple of themed ones but i got that we got some um mrs meyer toilet bowl cleaner this you need toilet bowl cleaner and we actually are on a septic tank so we're not supposed to use bleach or anything antibacterial so we got this to try and needed some more hangers so we got him some bitty hangers and then we got ourselves some more hangers um just because we need more hangers and then from lowe's we got these i wanted something to organize the fridge a little bit more and we do like mini cucumbers and lettuce and things I thought this big one would be nice to have. And then we got the berry bin, which we're going to try. And then this um, divider one for just kind of, kind of other things. If anything, it's just going to help like, you know, like well, I may not use this lid in the divider and just use this to house like Ian's apple sauces and his yogurts and things in just so they're not kind of floating around. But. That is everything for today, and uh, yeah, that was definitely fun. Uh, what a day, but I'm really excited about these things. I have so many dish towels now from Target that are fall. So it's still raining, but I'm coming out to try to show you. Oh my god, do you see that? Oh my god. That is crazy, Seth. 
I got I got in the fort. <laughs> um, oh, look at this. That's all flat. The wind turbines are shut off some of them. That's insane. I can't believe wind and rain did that. I really wonder what the gust got up to. <laughs> 